were not the whole British legacy. Until 1946, our rule was authoritarian via traditional chiefs everywhere except in the coastal areas like Accra, where a small educated elite of African traders and professional men did have a long apprenticeship in self-government. The African upper crust living in houses like these expected to take over the Englishman's privileges when he left. And Krumah's supporters were the masses of underemployed primary school leavers. His positive action was a social revolution as well as a nationalist movement. In Krumah united these coastal rebels with the discontented commoners of the Ashanti kingdom. This old gentleman in the bola is the Asantehini of Ashanti, which used to be a strong feudal confederacy in the middle section of Ghana back from a visit to Britain for the sake of his health. According to one deputy minister, the Asantehini's political health also benefited because he came back no longer believing in the divine right of kings and prepared to mix freely with his people. In Ashanti and in the upper region, all government used to be conducted in the name of the chief and they were extravagantly praised. During the transition to independence, the Asantehini and other chiefs financed opposition groups which tried to break Ghana up into a loose federation on a tribal basis. Depriving chiefs of political power, Nkrumah assumed the traditional title Asajifo, or super chief of the nation, so as to bridge the change. Ghana exalted the leader not only as political head, but as her equivalent of a royal family. Nkrumah does no wrong. No wrong. A new patriotism was instilled into the young. No wrong. A mass of competitive unions and associations, many of them inefficiently or corruptly run, were compulsorily merged by statute so that there should be one organization in each field with each tied to the party. Ghana's press became very obviously a party press. It has been publicly reproached by one of the president's friends, the Ghanaian philosophy professor Willie Abraham, for unsober adulation of Kwame Nkrumah. Abraham says this hides his real personality from the people. 